What's up, boxing fans? It's Rodney De La Paz. Just wanted to talk to you about what everyone wants to know, which is how to beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. I got the secrets. You willing to listen? Here it is. Number one, mental game. You have to have the mental game that surpasses Floyd Mayweather. All right? Floyd Mayweather has a mental game that is so dedicated and so disciplined that as soon as he steps in the ring, you are his because it's his game. The first thing you got to do if you want to even have a chance is you have to make sure that you set the pace. You are the one that establishes, you know, the attack first and you claim the ring because he is a master at claiming the ring and making it his fight. Okay? No one's been able to do it. Castillo, he was very, very close. Okay? But again, a lot of people say that he fell short, but still, he still won. Okay? Um, another big part of it is that you cannot take anything personally, right? When you step into the ring, you have to have a clear head, you have to be relaxed, and you have to make sure that you make the fight a game. You can't make it personal against Floyd Mayweather, right? And you have to be business. If you're a professional boxer, you have to treat the fight as if it's just another day at the office. There's nothing personal. You could forget all the smack talk that Floyd did on TV about, about you and your family or whatever. And you just have to make sure that you go in there and you execute your game plan. Because you know what? If you don't, he's going to do that. All right? Another, another thing about the mental game is that you have to make sure that you're patient. A lot of people who everyone who I've ever seen fight Floyd Mayweather, really, they lost their patience. They just, they got tired of getting jabbed in the face. They got tired of it. And they just broke down mentally. And the next thing you know it, they were just chasing him. They felt the, the sense of urgency to try to force things. And then what happens? Floyd takes over, just like every single other fight that we've seen. And he, and he, executes his game plan perfectly right so again number one thing you have to have the right mental game secondly back to fundamentals I think I overheard <clears throat> Marquez's trainer say that if you want to beat Floyd Mayweather you have to beat him with combinations I don't know why he said that okay because the last time I checked, you got Lennox Lewis, you got Muhammad Ali, you have all these, you know, these legendary fighters. They were masters at the fundamentals. The jab, the left hook, the straight right. Those are three punches. <clears throat> then you add like Mike Tyson out there, then you add a couple of like hooks to the body and some uppercuts. Those are fundamental punches. You don't have to win with combination, like, you know, four or five punch combinations. Mayweather doesn't. Mayweather probably can, but what he does time and time again, what you see him do is he methodically jabs, hooks, and right crosses or straight rights into his opponents until his opponents start chasing him and make mistakes. Okay, he wins on fundamentals. But here's the secret strategy against Floyd Mayweather. This is really, really exciting stuff, okay? As you can see here in my last video, I put an X on my chest over here showing the only part that he pretty much gives and just a little part of his face. But as, that, as you can see here, I put an X on the shoulder, which means that is free game for a target. 
since he only gives you this much normally, why not increase that hitting target and include his shoulder? After all, his left shoulder is his greatest asset. This is what establishes every fight, every pace of the fight for him. If you take his left arm out of the picture and you punish his left shoulder, he's not going to have that snap anymore as much as he can. Yes, he could probably turn southpaw and do it here, but the point that, that I'm trying to make is that everything's free game. Use his shoulder. Roy Jones Jr. has done it against his opponents. I've seen Cotto do that to his, his opponents. You want to do this particularly for, for fighters who have a good cover. You want to include their shoulder because guess what? That's a good part of it. You're taking people's weapons away by including their shoulder. Okay? Another big thing too is that there's this, this punch called the straight blast. Now, the straight blast is not a, it's not really a fundamental boxing uh, punch. It's more used in, in martial arts. Bruce Lee has incorporated that in his, uh, his fighting style called Jeet Kune Do. And the punch is, goes right down the middle, like this. Now I know that Floyd Mayweather Sr. made fun of Pacquiao when he fought Ricky Hatton and he was saying, what is this? He was questioning that. Because Pacquiao employs this, this punch when he goes down and, 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 you know, and goes after his opponents. Well, what this does essentially is it allows it allows you to attack straight down the middle. Okay? Again, when people are covering like this, a straight blast will go right through it. See? All right? Looping shots like over the head or looping hooks, you know? Floyd's got that covered. He'll roll with that stuff. Right? But if you catch Floyd backing up, and you start straight blasting right down the middle, it'll increase your chance to actually connect and he'll open up a little bit more and that's gonna give you more opportunities for combinations. All right? So remember this. Those are the three things to beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. The mental game, back to fundamentals, straight blast. Good luck.